what part of the lake are you at? We're at the that little spot in the like right in the front, like where that like it's, it's almost like a waterfall. Where the first lake is, or the second lake we go to? No, the first lake. That first main lake, right where that guy kicked us out. Yeah. Ashton and Dylan were nice enough to catch us all a bluegill and a little rock bass. We're gonna call him a bluegill so he doesn't feel left out. And uh, we're gonna hook him up, use some live bait, and try to catch some bass, son. In there. I caught three snakes. Holy shit! They're good bait, though, right? Yeah, snakes. Oh, dude, my bad. Chickens. Little baby chickens. Look at all those chickens. Right there. Yeah. Live catch number Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, let's go. That's a fucking monster, bro. Let's go, dude. Okay, put it up there, bro. Put it up there, bro. This thing's unaccurate and it's saying it's about three, four. That seems about right. Maybe. Monofilament, it's a lighter, it's lighter than floral carbon, so you use that for just like your little basic swim baits, your little, little jerk baits and shit. That's and you're saying it doesn't point. sink? Yeah. And then your floral carbon, it's a heavier line, so that'll sink. You use that for like deep diving crank baits, your chatter, or your fucking anything that, that you want to sink. That's what the floral carbon is good for. And then uh, your braided, use that for when you're fishing like lily pads or a lot of grassy area so you can fucking rip it through because you that's a uh, your 55 pound braid i see so the same dude size as uh your 10 pound floral carbon so but you have fucking five times the strength with the braided so you use that when you're fishing lily pads or grass heavy grass and weeded areas good to know weighted texas rig with just that slider thing all right man let's see what we could do Branch? Yeah. Something fucking mauled my thing. Let me see. Uh oh, Ashley's on another, another gooder. Was that live bait? Yeah, no. Oh, that was Senko type of thing. That's the fucking, the one you just caught, little homie. Look at that guy. Jeez. I got fucking <laughs> nasty. What'd you get, bro? Nice little chunker donker. Oh, a pretty bass too. Yeah. Slammed on the live bluegill too, man. That's what's been getting it done today. Catch live bluegill, dog.
Holy shit, I've never seen a bait caster like that before, dude. <laughs> this, this is like Bluetooth, bro, hands free, man. Bluetooth, yeah, bait caster. <laughs> uh, Corrado DC BT for Bluetooth, and uh, you just tell it when to stop, really. <laughs> whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. Mine went five feet, that was sick, dude. <laughs> Bro, that sounds electric. Why can't I, am I just not casting right? Flick that motherfucker. Damn, bro. Have some fucking grip strength. I think I'm upside down, but it should work, dude. How you feel about that hog, dude? Bro, that was one. sick, bro. That was, I didn't even catch anything, and I'm leaving like I caught the fucking hog. That's how cool it was. We have the whole team going. For PB, it. local catch PB. Fucking Ashton's goaded for the day, bro, but I'm gonna try to take the ranks next time. <laughs> and you got anything to say, Dylan? How about that hog, bro? You caught a little baby hog? Nice little one on a light blue gill again. Fuck yeah, dude. So, uh, the same size as the one yesterday, too, which was nice. Yeah, man. There's some doinkers, dude, and that's it.